It's April 4th, 2011. We are at 110 Clark Drive in San Mateo. We're going to do a video from a clean out that we're opening up under the house. Hopefully get this camera all the way out to the uh, main line uh, in, I believe it's in the center island, out in front of the house on Clark Drive. About ready to put the camera in the line right now. Got a little dirt on the line. We're going to have to shake it loose here in a minute. We'll go a little farther out. We're still up under the house in the cast iron, which looks fine. We just uh, poked into a little muck. We're going to pause for a second until we get it cleaned off. Okay, we're going to continue. We just ran a little water down the line to uh, clean lens. We'll continue out. We're still about 20 feet from the uh, outside of the house. And we'll just continue through the straight cast iron section, which is uh, suspended up underneath the house until we get to the outside. We're about 15 feet down the line, and we're still just looking at uh, the cast iron suspended up and underneath the house. We should be coming outside the house here within the next uh, five feet or so. I do believe we're probably outside the house right now. This appears to be going up to the right, a uh, tie-in, possibly a clean-out. Uh, we'll pause a minute and just take a look. I believe this is probably just a tie-in. We're not quite outside the house yet, but we should be fairly soon. We're looking at another tie-in right here. We're probably pretty much outside the house right now, and uh, we'll continue forward. Proceeded through that tie-in there, continuing on down the line. So far, everything's still cast iron. Looks pretty good. It appears we're at a point where there is a transition from one style of pipe to the next. We're going to pause here for a minute and go do a locate. Okay, we're back from pause. We did a locate out of the front of the building. We're going to continue uh, outside of the house now. It looks like the line actually changes the style of material here. We're, we're in very rusty uh, cast iron, you can see right there. We're going to pull back just a few inches just so we can take a look. There were very rusty cast iron, and as we go forward, um, you can see that it looks like the material changes in texture and color.
Okay, we're back from pause. I've located this line. It does not have the look of a uh, cast iron pipe. I do believe this is older uh, clay pipe inside. Um, still looks pretty good at this point. I don't see any roots or offsets. We're going to continue on down the line until we see something notable. Must have a little belly in the line here. Camera's gone underwater. We'll continue to push through until we get uh, through this. Camera is underwater still. It's holding a bit of water. Uh, means it's uh, got a dip in it somewhere. And now we got a bunch of water on the lens. Can't see very well. We're going to pull back and see if we can wash the lens off a little bit. Okay, we're going to continue. We're out of the belly now, and uh, we'll continue forward. This has the appearance of, uh, of a very smooth, probably a plastic pipe. This line may have had some work done on it one time. A little belly we're going into here, sort of minor. Probably only half an inch or so. Camera's only about an inch and a half tall. Let's we're gonna stop and pull back here a second. What we're looking at right here, as you can barely tell, we're very familiar with this. This is a fused seam on a plastic pipe, which is HP or HDPE, high-density polyethylene pipe. This line appears to have been uh, uh, worked on. Possibly there was a liner pulled. I didn't see any clean-outs out front, but uh, this has a very clean, smooth look, and that bead there that you can see is indicative of the fact that this line had been pulled, pipe bursting, trenchless, uh, pipe replacement. That is a fused bead. We're going to continue forward from here. We are at a point right here where you can see that we've uh, exited the uh, black uh, 
HDPE pipe, and we are at a clean-out. You can see it going off to the left. You see that little elliptical dark shadow on the bright orange uh, pipe that's uh, in the uh, foreground uh, where the two materials change. We're going to pause and go locate where this clean-out is. Okay, I've located where this point is. Out, uh, it's just outside the gate to the uh, right of the entry uh, pillar posts on the west side driveway uh, entrance and uh, just outside the gate posts. We're going to continue here, see if we can get all the way to the gate. What this is is where it changes from the high-density polyethylene to uh, appears to be a bright orange uh, clay clay pipe. I did not find a clean out top. It's probably buried in the landscaping. Right here we're at a point where it is obviously clay pipe and you can see that just beyond the gate post we've only gone about another 18 inches, two feet. We do have some roots growing into the line. This can be serviced from that clean out if it's brought up to grade and they find it. At this point, I think as a courtesy of the city of San Mateo, we'll clean this line. I don't know if they'll take responsibility for it in the future. Here we're at another uh, clay to clay pipe joint. You can see that this one is offset quite a bit. We're going to continue to see if we can get through this. We're out in the street now. We've actually made it all the way out to the main. This is the, we're looking into the main sewer line and we'll pull back just an inch or so so you can get a better view. This is where we're uh, joined up with the main. There are actually uh, no severe issues. There are little roots just beyond the uh, gate post, the clay pipe, except for that uh, one offset. Doesn't look too bad, easily serviceable. Uh, at this time, as I said, I believe the city of San Mateo will service this line as a courtesy. Uh, we're gonna call this end of video.